Hey booktube, welcome back. I'm Winx and the ink I'm talking about today is my weekend reads. I did finish one book this last week which was The House of Silk by Anthony Horowitz. I really really enjoyed this one and I actually ended up listening to it on audio instead of just reading the physical copy and I actually really enjoyed the audiobook. The narrator was spot on, just a great voice for a Watson and yeah the story itself was really intriguing. I just thought it was really well done and it definitely still captured the Sherlock and Watson that I have in my head. That's of course something I always appreciate in a Sherlock Holmes pastiche. So yeah I actually ended up giving this one five stars. It was just really really good. Then last week I mentioned two other books that I was working on and I am still in fact working on them. The first of which is The Ninth Life by Clea Simon. This is a modern mystery story with characters that are inspired by Sherlock Holmes and Mary Russell. And the Sherlock Holmes character in this case is this kitty which is fantastic. So I've really been enjoying this one and I love the characters so far. I'm very intrigued by the story. It seems like it's going in some pretty interesting places and I'm pretty excited to finish it. I have just had so little actual reading time lately. I've been trying to finish things up for Book Bath Box because the winter boxes are about to go out. So I've just been a little bit all over the place trying to get that taken care of and to finish up some other projects. Um, I did do a few reading sprints during this past week and during those reading sprints I was basically just reading this one. So I made a bit of progress on it and I'm pretty close to finishing it. Hopefully I will get there soon. The other book I mentioned reading last week is Sherlock Holmes' The Breath of God by Guy Adams and this one I had just started last week and I have not even had a chance to touch it since then so um, I'm no further along but I am still very excited to continue on with this one. This next book is one I specifically said I would not read this month but I'm gonna do it anyway and that is Moriarty by Anthony Horowitz. This book is a sequel to The House of Silk. I just enjoyed that one so much and Frankie from Frankie Reads said that she started listening to this one on audiobook and the narrator is not the same as the narrator in The House of Silk but it's still a good narrator so I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up. I really just need audiobooks right now so I can be doing things for Book Bath Box while I'm listening. I think that's really the only way I'm going to make any progress with the reading right now. So um, yes, I had a few extra credits on Audible so I went ahead and picked this one up and I'm very excited to get started with that one and hopefully actually be able to finish something more while I'm doing these boxes. Then I also want to get to some of the original stories this week and um, this is just volume one of four from the collection that I have but I love these covers and um, yeah I just love this collection. It's also illustrated which is kind of cool and yeah so I'm just going to pick out about three to five of these stories and hopefully get a chance to read through them during the course of the week. Then my last book for the week is not actually a Sherlock Holmes pick but I did not realize that Diversathon was going to be happening during this month but it is and it starts um, this week. It starts Sunday the 22nd which by the way is also the day of the Sherlock Holmes scavenger hunt so make sure you tune into that at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you would like to join in on the fun. But I do want to participate in Diversathon if I can. The main book that the group is reading is called Underground Railroad and I don't remember the author's name off the top of my head but I will put that info up on the screen so you can see it. But I saw that that one was also available on Audible so I went ahead and picked that one up so hopefully I'll be able to listen to it during the week and also be able to participate a bit in Diversathon with the Sherlock Holmes stuff going on and the Book Bath Box stuff going on. Diversathon is important so I definitely encourage you all to do that as well. Um, I would also love to hear down in the comments if you guys know of any particularly good Sherlock Holmes picks for this. The one that I have off the top of my head is one I read a few years ago and that one is called A Study in Lavender Queering Sherlock Holmes. It's a collection of short stories with different Sherlock Holmes characters being represented as part of the queer community being in different queer relationships. I gave this one three stars on Goodreads but it's been a few years since I read it and I didn't really write out a review for it so I don't remember what exactly it was that didn't make it a four or five star book for me. Um, I have sort of a vague memory that I didn't totally like some of the writing styles or felt like the characters weren't that true to the characters' personalities that 
I have in my head. So um, just little things like that. But I still think that that is a great example of something you could pick up to participate in the Sherlock Holmes month as well as Diversathon. And I would love to hear about any other ones that you guys know of. Just put them all down below so um, we can check them out together. And yeah, let me know what you guys are reading and if you've read or are reading any of the books that I'm currently working on. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye!